Okay, it's a lovely day and uh, we decided to take out the um, the 1022 for a shot. It's been a while. I've been neglecting the uh, the old rimfire. Um, so we've put up a target at uh, 200 yards and um, we're just going to fire some uh, uh, SK rifle match at it and um, see how it goes. Uh, normally I'll be shooting CCI subs, but uh, we'll see how this goes. These, um, these have a drop of about 3.7 at 100. Uh, when I'm 0 to 25 so there'll be something like a seven and a half mil uh, hold at a at 200 yards um, and we'll see how it goes Not terrible, we'll just uh, finish off what we have here. Even though there's practically no wind today, um, it's managing to push around the 2 2 at that distance. So I'm holding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven point five mil, and off to the right hand side if there's wind and straight nothing. That's not too bad. In the three minutes I've been shooting, the wind has changed from left to none to right. Uh, about five mil each direction. But that's the beauty of shooting 1022s. If you can't read the wind, you won't get very far with them. Um, I'm gonna try some velocitors just to see the uh, the difference in elevation. That's five mil. This box? Yeah. These are velocitors. Yeah. Are they? Oh no, they weren't, are they? Oh no, we don't have any velocitors. What else do you have? Uh, the segmented. Segmented? Oh, yeah, segmented. That's what I meant. So, we're going to try some segmented hollow points. If this is actually what's in this box. It is. And, because uh, these travel much, much quicker. They're a much longer brass shell and uh, a lighter bullet. They're down to um, 32 grain round. Um, and it's a, uh, a scorching 1640. Feet per second compared to the the 1000, 1030 or something for the subsonics. Uh, so these will uh, get out there a lot faster, and hopefully they'll um, they'll buff the wind a bit better. Uh, these particular ones, as far as I know, um, if you have a 1022 with a match barrel, which is the tactical or the target you won't uh, be able to chamber them because of the longer brass. I may be wrong about that, but that's what I've heard. Right, so let's see, I'm just gonna check 100 real quick. They break up so fast, can't even see the impact. Okay. At 200. Okay, it looks like about two and a half mil. Oops. 
Yeah, you can see they're much easier to shoot at range over the old subsonics, just less of an arc. And compared to um, the subsonic, I drop at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven point five mil drop for the subsonics versus a three point five mil drop for the segmented um, CCIs traveling, I guess, half the speed more again at uh, 1640 feet per second. Um, and these little guys are devastating on, uh, on Furman as well. And I'm pretty sure you can get these in a subsonic version as well, which I haven't had a chance to try out yet.